I am back in the trusty jelly bean. After having that motor home for about a week, I think it was eight days in total, this thing feels like a go-kart to drive now, it's crazy. But I have realized that recently I've been neglecting her quite a bit. She's real dirty, so I'm gonna go and give her a wash and then I'm craving a stealth cam. It's been a while. So that is my plans for this evening. Now, all my life, I have just gone straight to a car wash and had it washed there. But today, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I bought a jet wash the other day. I've always wanted one, I don't even know why. But I've got one now. So I'm gonna make use of it and go and park up at the back of the Odeon car park and wash the van. Now, you might be wondering where I'm gonna get the water from, but that is where my mate comes into it because he is a window cleaner. So he's gonna be supplying the water and being the god of electricity, as you already know, I will be supplying the power. So this is window cleaner Stuart's van. If you ever want a window cleaner, this is your man. I'm the man, apparently. So this is the state of what I've let it get to. I do apologize, Jellybean. We don't even have a wheel cap over here. This is the only thing I can't sort out today. Someone drove into that and then drove off. But I do have a spare headlight on its way and that's getting fitted tomorrow. Right, this is the jet wash. God, how much water do you have in that thing? Uh, I think it's like 300 liters, 350, something. I ho silver. Yeah, I reckon that'll be all right, yeah. She's a dirty girl. I know. <laughs> Next up, what the hell was that? Sounds like a bird playing a game of chess. Today, we have a brand new, but very small power station. Now, when I say a small power station, I mean it's tiny. Out of all of the power stations that I've ever used, this is the most powerful yet. It can deliver 5,000 watts of power. So to put it into perspective, you could literally run your oven at home with this thing. It's a modular unit. So this is the main power station on top and that is the battery down the bottom. This battery is 3,072 watt hours and you can actually connect up to six of these batteries, which will give you an unbelievable 18,000 roughly watt hours of capacity. We've got all the usual stuff that you'd expect on a power station. There are five of these mains plug sockets. There's another plug socket there. That's a 32 amp version. You got 12 volt, you got 24 volt, you got USB-C and your standard USBs there. And on the battery itself, you can actually use that as a standalone unit and that's got 12 volt and the USB-Cs. But obviously it is better if you use these things together. On the side here, you've got all your different ways to charge it and you can charge it all the normal ways. So you can do it from your AC at home, you can do it from your car charging socket in the car and of course from solar panels as well. It's got two wireless charging pads on the top and just in general, this thing is built like a tank. I'm genuinely so impressed impressed with this thing and I haven't even used it yet. Now, as always, there will be a link in the description below to this product. And because it's a brand new product, they're doing an early bird sale where you're actually getting a thousand pound off. So if you're thinking of getting one at any point, now's the time. So using the touchscreen, we just turn the AC on. Let's see how powerful this beast actually is. Let's go. Yeah. All right, we think we've fixed the problem. Go on, give it a test. First phase, I'm just gonna rinse her down. Right, let's try a different setting, shall we? I think this one's called a fan or something. Right, so with just water, obviously it's not gonna come up super clean, but we've got the most of it off. And now I've bought a snow foam attachment, so we're gonna spray some snow foam on it. But so far, I don't know how long I've been doing that for, maybe 10 minutes, we're down to 92%. And that thing's drawing about 1,500 watts, so that power station is definitely holding up to be a beast. Whoa, look at that! Yeah! I don't know whether I'm just easily pleased, but I am absolutely loving it. Look at her. This is actually brilliant. She's dripping in white. Oh, I'm well impressed with that. Have you ever used that before? 
This was that good. I didn't think it was going to work that well. <laughs> She's a beauty. So now all we've got to do is wait for five, ten minutes. Do you fancy a brew? Let's do it. Well, I don't have any brew, but I have got chai latte. How much does a kettle pull in? 2,000 watt. The kettle pulls more than the jet wash. <laughs> for those who haven't drunk this before, I highly recommend it. Spiced chai latte. Here is to uh, snow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a jelly bean. The snow's apparently done its job. It should have lifted the most of the remaining dirt. She is looking like a sparkling star. Usually you're supposed to do one more go over with some detergent, which I have got. I'm a little bit worried. It might start raining soon. And the last thing we want is to have this Bluetti beast out in the rain. So that's good enough for now. One more last job before I get back on the road and go find somewhere for this stealth camp. All right, Stuart, I've got some authentic Volkswagen wheels here. These are proper alloys. There we go. Stuart, thank you for your water, kind sir. The best window cleaner in Kent. Oh, yes. I'm gonna go home and get changed real quick because whilst giving Jelly Bean a bath, I got a little bit wet. And then from there, I've got to figure out where to go and stealth camp. I'm thinking, since it's been a while, a classic supermarket stealth camp is probably in order, but we'll scout it out on the map and find out the best option. Oh, I don't believe it. No, what has happened? Well, I know what might have happened. We've got an issue over here. I was just about to say we've had a bit of luck getting that power station bit done before the rain, but this is not good luck. We've got a warning light on. I think it's the glow plug light, maybe. I know there's a lay-by up here. There's definitely something up of it. The first thing I noticed was the power was low. And then after that, I noticed that light was on. Yeah, it's in limp mode. We're barely struggling up this hill. It's telling me to change down gear. Right, lay by. Brilliant news. This is my favorite thing ever. I love it when this happens. I am a member of the AA, so they can come out and see what's going on. But at the same time, this is all we need. All right, so engine's off. We turn the key once. The light's not on so far. That beeps just because it's just gone into the red on the fuel. I was about to go and get some. Turn her on. The light's gone. What? I'm pretty sure the motorway's just up around the corner. And I don't really want to go into the motorway if it's going to suddenly go back into limp mode. But I guess I've got no choice. So what I was saying, I'll look we can get out before this lorry, can we? She's alive again. Oh, would you believe it? This is the roundabout here for the motorway. But that light's just come back on. I can't risk going onto the motorway. I can't tell what's happened to the power at the moment. Are we good? No, we're not. She's lost power. Jelly bean, my girl, what's happening? I've just cleaned you. Be good to me. I'm heading back down the way I just came because I think there was somewhere to pull in on the left. This could be a disaster. So as I was saying before this monumental disaster, oh look, there's an Audi. At least we can get some food if we've got to wait for the AA man. But I was headed to Lakeside Retail Park. There's a massive Tesco there and TK Maxx and all that. And I'm pretty sure it's free parking 24 seven. So that was the plan. But now the plan has changed and not in a good way. Right, I've got this OBD reader thing here. So that goes on there, I believe. Then I think you've got to turn the key. Enter, scan. Is that the pending code? PO403. PO403. The ECM has detected the engine exhaust gas recirculation circuit has malfunctioned. What the hell does that mean? Right, I guess we better get on with this app. Broken down, get started. Right, rescue. Help! Oh, that's not how you do it. I think you have to press a button. 
Flat battery, flat tyre, won't start a cut out. I've had an accident. That's a bit personal. Why do they need to know if I've sh my pants? Right, well, 15, 20 minutes away, apparently. Since I'm parked outside Audi, this just reminded me, me and my friend Sophie once, I blindfolded her and I gave her loads of snacks, some Audi ones and then some original brown ones. And she had to taste test them and see if she could tell the difference. So whilst I wait for the AA geezer to turn up, I might as well entertain you with that clip. Right, so today we are showing you everything that Sophie eats in an average day. <laughs> <laughs> On the right, we have the big brands. <laughs> oh uh, my god! What <laughs> even is it called? It's called a meatster. A meatster. Mm, and then we got this one. What about these ones? These, this one. It's a little bit more meatier. <laughs> <laughs> I think this side. Fill the hole. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> I don't know. It's getting it's getting harder. <laughs> <laughs> this side. I'm gonna go this one. More orange in this one. And this one. <laughs> Right, here comes the cavalry. I would love to say that I'm on the way to the stealth camp, but unfortunately I'm not. The AA guy, he's been really good actually, he turned up in about 10 minutes. And he's now following me to a garage. He's done like a temporary fix or something. I don't really know what he's done. But he's made it so that I should be able to get to the garage. He's following me in case I can't. But hopefully Jellybean can get the medication that she requires. My destination is on the right. Is it? No, no, it's not. You liar! I should stick with Apple Maps. All right, here we go. Potatoes, eggs, slow children. What a random mix of things. GDA Accident Repair Center. I've just been looking through the footage for this video and to be honest, at the moment, I don't even know if I want to post it. I mean, I guess if you're seeing this clip, then I did end up posting it. But obviously it was supposed to be a stealth camping video and there was no stealth camping. So I apologize about that. As to what to do from here, I don't know. So I spoke to the guys at the garage and things are pointing to the EGR valve, but it could also be a number of things. So until it's properly diagnosed, I don't know. It's not a small job either to get to the EGR valve. There's quite a lot of labor involved. And the thing is, I was supposed to be selling the van soon and upgrading to something new, but obviously I don't want to sell it when it's got issues. But as for when they can do the work and what I'm going to do in the meantime with no vehicle, I don't know yet and I can't really afford to buy a new van until I get the money for her. But I do appreciate you watching today's video and as always a massive thank you to anybody who supported the channel by buying me a brain cell through the link in the description below. Fingers crossed this will be quite a simple problem to fix and it won't break the bank and then this issue can just completely disappear out of my life kind of like my dad did when I was four years old. <laughs> gotta love a bit of dark humor but yeah hopefully it's all going to be sorted out next week if not i'll keep you posted on a community tab on my channel and you can only see that tab if you're subscribed so if you watch the videos and you're not subscribed you know what to do but until next time whenever that may be have a good one and i'll catch you guys soon